friends, welcome to the wacky world of Mrs. S. Today I'm going to read How Do You Hug a Porcupine? This is by Lori Isop, illustrated by Gwen Millward. Can you hug a horse? Of course. A cow with arms around her neck? That's how. A dog or cat is not so hard. Just hug them in your own backyard. Hugging bunnies is just divine. But how do you hug a porcupine? Can you hug some billy goats? Entice them with a bag of oats. And surely you can hug a pig. Just spread your arms out extra big. With baby chicks, be sweet, be kind. But how do you hug a porcupine? This prickly fellow won't be easy. My stomach's feeling kind of queasy. He wears a coat of corny, of thorny quills. To hug this one will take some skills. A hedgehog is a little prickly, an ostrich a little tickly, a chimpanzee will hug you back. I've never tried to hug a yak. A giraffe requires quite a climb. But how do you hug a porcupine? An elephant? Please hug his trunk. I wouldn't want to hug a skunk. A kangaroo? Just hop this way. Don't let the dolphin slip away. A panda probably wouldn't mind, but how do you hug a porcupine? You must go slowly, never hurry. Porcupines aren't soft and furry. His quills defend him from his foes, but I'm his friend, he surely knows. At last, hooray, it's finally time. This is how you hug a porcupine. Carefully. Thank you for joining me. See you again next time. Bye-bye.